Hi, welcome to week four. Uh, this week should be particularly easier if you are able to conceptualize the um, principles thus far. Uh, this week will be an opportunity for you to um, test your ability to apply, really apply them into your lesson plans uh, through our midterm project check-in. So the midterm project um, is a thing that I uh, decided to do um, taking my classroom experiences um, and putting them into um, my online courses with regards to um, empowering students to be their best. So the midterm project check-in serves as a kind of a rough draft of what you are preparing to submit for your midterm project. It is the exact same um, project. There are no changes unless through the actual midterm project check-in and reviews from students or feedback to my feedback, um, I noticed I need to make any big changes. Um, but the point in the project is to give you an opportunity to reflect on um, the standards and the uh, requirements uh, for the actual project to put together your um, best version and then to get critical feedback. I actually spent a lot of time on each of the drafts so that by the time that you actually submit the project, um, the only thing that you have to worry about um, are the um, actual um, fixes that are suggested to complete the actual task. The other reason why I started to do the midterm projects is because obviously we all have different understandings of what a um, standard is or what a rubric requirement or step actually states. So as, uh, um, as thorough as I try to be, as often as possible, there is always some type of miscommunication. So this uh, midterm project check-in actually serves as an opportunity for you to clarify uh, anything that I may have stated that you thought something different um, and also just to get a check in on what your grade will be. So the way that they work is that I thoroughly grade whatever you submit. Everyone will get the same points. Um, the points are a uh, total of the actual rubric and that's just to not um, penalize you for uh, challenges you might face in completing the draft. Um, Within the feedback, you would actually see the points that you could possibly earn on your actual final copy if you left it the exact same way that you submitted. Um, my recommendation is if your points are lower than 80%, then you need to do some rechecking and balancing of what your understanding is of the project requirements. But other than that, um, you will use those as feedback to make sure that you're doing the things that are required by the assignment. Um, there is flexibility in this um, method, so hopefully, you know, you do a great job at it or you feel comfortable enough to put in all you have. A lot of people I've seen who are more successful with uh, midterm project check-ins are those who actually do the project and don't submit half of the copy. Once the project is submitted, I typically don't um, allow for resubmission unless you have failed the project. Um, and also because the time frame is so limited, like we don't have a lot of time to submit um, various versions. And I have tried to do multiple midterm projects, but people have gotten a little bit annoyed by those. So uh, the midterm project submission date has changed. It won't be due until the following week. I think it would be December 8th or 7th, whatever that Sunday's date is, um, giving you enough time to receive the feedback from me by that Sunday or Monday, um, and then you would have a few days to make any minor corrections. Uh, if you have a question prior to that, please let me know. Um, and I look forward to reading your projects, and I hope that you enjoy a very restful week off um, and have some opportunity to enjoy your family. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, um, I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. If you do not, I wish you a very happy birthday. Have a great day.